Good afternoon, everybody. I am Congresswoman Kat Kamak, probably representing Florida's third congressional district, the Gator Nation. And uh, I want to thank you all for joining us. Uh, I want to take a moment to thank my colleagues, Senators Paul Lee Schmidt and Representative Van Orden for joining me to discuss one of the least sexy, but probably most important issues that we're contending with right now, and that is restoring Article One authority, aka draining the swamp. Now, as you all know, the Supreme Court issued a landmark 6-3 decision in Loper Bright two weeks ago, overturning the long-standing Chevron doctrine and reaffirming Congress's uh, that Congress makes the law, not federal agencies, and the judiciary is the final interpreter of the law, taking it out of the hands of unelected, nameless, faceless bureaucrats. Now, again, I think we can all recognize that regulations don't exactly get the blood pumping of busy, hardworking Americans, but let's face it. They have better things to do than to read the 2023 Federal Register, which clocked 90,402 pages. That is the second largest Federal Register in American history. You heard that right, 90,402 pages of regulations. And quite frankly, that should terrify Americans because it represents 90,402 pages of swamp creatures, also known as bureaucrats, slowly taking away the due process and rights of everyday working people. The Supreme Court ruling cracked open the door two weeks ago for change, and it is now our responsibility as representatives of the people to restore transparency, accountability on behalf of we the people. Now, as many know, I'm the proud sponsor of the RAINS Act, which is the largest regulatory reform effort in American history. And in the House, it is still known as the most popular bill in the House of Representatives. It's simple. Any proposed rule over or regulation over $100 million of industry impact comes back for an up or down vote by Congress before it can go into effect. Now, of course, I'm proud to lead this effort in the House and oversaw the passage of this bill not once but twice in the House in the last two years. And it has been attached to every single appropriation package in every single title, sans uh, Milk on VA, for the last two years. And I would have invited all of the original co-sponsors of the RAINS Act, but quite frankly, there's over 200 of them. We wouldn't fit in this room. So getting back to what we're here for, which is, again, the people, it should infuriate Americans that for decades, some of the most important policy questions have been decided by unelected bureaucrats, not their elected representatives. The Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, the list can go on and on and on. Today in my home state of Florida, families are paying over $14,000 every single year due to regulatory costs. Not more services, not more products, and that's not inflation, that is regulatory issues, regulatory enforcement and compliance. Never mind that Americans collectively spend more than $2 trillion every single year in enforcement and compliance when it comes to regulatory costs. The radical left has invested heavily in making sure that bureaucrats in the state ratchet up government control over the economy and our everyday lives through this administrative control. That is so far beyond what our founding fathers intended. So we've reached this moment of truth for administrative and regulatory policy. We must commit to uphold our Article I power and ensure that Congress is the chief law-making body not bureaucrats in a basement somewhere in downtown Washington. It's time to put the American people back in charge. And at this moment, with Reigns Act and my colleagues with me, I'm pleased to turn the microphone over to my good friend and colleague, Senator Rand Paul, for an exciting announcement on the Reigns Act and for some of his thoughts on the recent Supreme Court ruling.